Hello everyone, this is Potato Skull Merchant here. I hope you are keeping very well. Please give the new Skull Merchant a try. She's actually really fun to play. And if you enjoy playing an M1 killer where you have to set up traps and plan your attacks, she's actually a really good killer for that kind of play style. Now, I'll be showcasing a few builds with her because she has been completely reworked. So in my eyes, she's basically a brand new killer. So let's get into this build. So I'm bringing Hysteria. What this is going to do is make anyone that's already injured oblivious. And because your drones can now injure people, it will also proc Hysteria, giving you a bit more stealth which is really nice bringing jolt for good slowdown because she's still an m1 and you can't down with your drone so jolt will always proc the new furtive chase this is actually really good because if you do hook the obsession you gain that juicy five percent haste which allows you to catch up to survivors and get a quick injury and because she's a very stealth oriented killer this is insanely good alien instincts so that the survivor that's already injured from a distance becomes oblivious again and we will be able to catch up with them you can bring barbecue and chili if you want because barbecue and chili will give you more ore reads but i'm bringing alien instinct so i have that oblivious value the add-ons are actually completely optional but i'm going above and beyond with this whole stealth factor and bringing the adaptive lighting and the brown noise generator if you guys do enjoy my content don't forget to check me out live on stream because there's now twitch drops enabled for dead by daylight so if you watch my stream you will get juicy twitch drops which you can then use in game hope you all enjoyed this content guys i'll see you all in the next one take care peace out i'm not against this map or trying it out to be honest i'm glad they've changed it the only thing for me is and i think a lot of people would have to agree is how red it is but um no it is what it is right let's put down some bingy bobs Sailor, my cutie! Yo, how was the stream? A lot of split pressure here, not ideal. That's it. Was she double backed? How was your stream, my lovely? Hello, have I got any snacks? No, sorry guys. I've eaten them all. I'm actually, she's actually decent. She's fun. She isn't strong, but she's fun. She's a trap based killer, so it's something a bit different. You gotta be a very competent M1 killer. Oh, I actually thought he'd wait there. Good job, Tap. This guy knows how to loot. Uh, no skull, sorry. Yeah! Well, everyone, can we get a shout out to Sailor Peach, please? She is an absolute delight and a great Dead by Daylight player, so please show her some love. Ah, uh, it's a shame Shaq has been blocked off. What? <laughs> My friend, what are you doing? Uh, 
Nah, now. you're great, my lovely. And we got some furtive chase value. There we go. Wait, the drone stayed there, even though he's in basement. Oh my, that's actually sexy. Alright, so now we've got some furtive chase. We know where they are. He's still oblivious. Oh, look at that. We're getting right close and personal. Tap's actually a good looper. <laughs> nice, that drone still hit him. He's going to be a tough catch, to be honest. Oh, he goofed. Unlucky, my friend. This build is really good as well because it just allows so much stealth. She's over here somewhere. There she is. <laughs> she doesn't even know. She just pointed and didn't realize. Meg's like, huh? I think she pointed for the save and not actually me. I'm happy to put a drone here. Man, these guys haven't got a clue where I'm coming from. This is so good. Beautiful. I wonder if I can tag them from here just by like spamming it. She literally went point, point. And then I <laughs> didn't realize. Let's get some value out of uh, Furtive of Chase. I see Tap. It might be worth going after him because he's on death hook. Go on panic vault. No panicking on this guy. Where's Meg? Corner, cool, no, going for the save. See how random people just keep getting hit because like if you put them in between areas, they just don't realize. Extra 5% haste is spicy. Beautiful. Dude, she's not bad, honestly. She's actually pretty decent. I feel like the better you get with her, like, understanding exactly where to put drones, she's not bad. These survivors just haven't been getting rid of my drones, so they're just walking into non-stop traps and getting injured. You don't need to put them by gens. I'm going to put one in this, like, tile here, just so if anyone walks through here, they get hit by a drone. And the stealth from it as well is just so good. Like we can get this guy in Shaq, easy peasy, like Shaq is worthless now. My tip here is always point it at the window like this. And then... Oh, he ran off.
fucked off. <laughs> Hello, my friend. What a great game, man. What a great game. Hold on, I want to try something. No way! Oh! <laughs> That's so sick! It was that dead hot? Yo! Oh, that would have been spicy if I got it there. You can do that. You can basically insta down in chase. If as long as they're holding in a straight line. That's sexy, man. No, thank you so much for the tier two. You absolute cutie. Thank you so much. That's that's cool, man. That's another cool little trick. The amount of people in this team that just didn't know where I was, got completely flabbergasted, was absolutely insane. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Kate. Oh, she's standing still so it doesn't proc. <laughs> Damn it. I've been bamboozled. You could technically stand still to avoid the hit, but then you're taking the M1 from the killer, so... Look how quickly you can just disarm all these. There's no punishment. Goodbye, drones. And then you can go back to resetting. So this is my tips for her. Make sure you place them in areas that survivors must run through. Like here's a good example. Always in Shack. Please put it on the window in the middle of Shack. You can basically guarantee an injury. Absolutely beautiful game. Well played by these guys. Really good showcase of uh, her power. She's actually, they've actually somehow made her really fun to play. It is. Right, let's do this. I'm still a bit rusty with her because obviously she is a different new killer. But this build is all about um, being sneaky sneaks. So that is the goal in mind. I'm going to put it right here on this tile. I basically want to catch them off on most tiles. Like here's a good place to put a drone because they're going to use this area a lot. She is not paying attention. Ideally, the plan with this build is for the drones to get people injured. And then Hysteria just procs random times. Also a decent place for a drone. I'm not going to hook her here. What I might do actually is put the drone on the other side of the stairs. The obsession too, this is perfect.
Is there a pallet there? Perfect. But change obsessions to the... Oh, she's over there. Let's go, gamers. If you have somebody in an AoE of a drone, you can change its direction non-stop. Um, and you'll actually injure them a lot faster. Bit of a tip for you. The obsession, just who I want, Confertive Chase. Really, really nice. Put her on hook. Right, now we get 5% haze and stealthy. The 5% haze is nice. Beautiful, mate. <laughs> Never stay in a drone's AoE because you can just spam its direction like that. Guys have been activated. I'm going to disarm. I don't need to disarm many right now, actually. They're all in pretty decent spots. Love everyone, we're getting somebody tagged again. Because now she'll eventually have um, haze. Nice, there we go. Beautiful. Our free gens just magically been done. They must have all been propped at the same time. I wasn't paying attention. Too busy focusing on my drones. We need to make sure we kill somebody soon. So they're probably healing over there. Oh, God. Yo, she ran through me. She is ballsy. Silly, silly. We got one in Shaq as well, so that's another hit. Um. If you turn its direction around as they get hit, you can hit them twice. Whoops. Misclicked. No, it doesn't put them in a dying state. I think that would be a bit strong, actually, now that I think about it. A hook in the obsession, perfect. Boom. 
I'm not gonna bother checking on the... I mean, I have to, because there's two left. Right, let me go. I was gonna say I wasn't gonna bother, but now I have to. Um... That drone's actually pretty good. It's hit them a couple times. I've got one drone left. Over here. Alright, this is... I'll get her here, don't worry, I just want to practice. That's some bad. There we go, nice. It's a bit overkill trying to get it down there, but uh, Pets makes perfect, right? <laughs> oh, hit Michaela as well, so that's another hysteria um, value. And we'll be able to see where they are with um, Zeno's perk. As I would have thought, but no. They're on one of these two gens. Hmm. Let's put one like here. Oh wait, I'm dumb, I can track her. <laughs> I always forget that's a feature now. <laughs> if she gets hit, you can track them. They're healing over there somewhere. Good thing I paid attention quickly. Don't forget about your claw traps giving you info. They're over here, the crows. I think they're trying to heal. Nice, Serena just got hit. Um, couldn't tell you which drone hit her. That's a really good game. I think she was hit by this one. She was, because I just activated it. So she's coming here to go to the gen, been hit by this. Realized her teammate needed saving, but hasn't gone for the save. Wants to avoid barbecue and chili. I think she's around here somewhere. Oh, she is still here, found her. Yeah. People forget about the negative haste as well, it's really good. Gives you some good anti loop. Why this build is actually pretty nice is Joel is some awesome slowdown. Hysteria just gives random oblivious effects to everybody that's injured. Aliens perk also helps you do that. And then Furtive Chase allows you that 5% haste and to then chase everybody with no tear radius after you hook the obsession. It's a really nice build. Really stealth oriented. And of course the add-ons help even more, so you're basically forcing the survivors to be oblivious and completely unaware of your location. It's really, really nice.
Well played by these gamers. Nice to see background player being used. Uh, I've seen some clips on TikTok and it looks really goofy on how fast people run now. Well played, guys. Jitakua Morio Cho Hoktobno Besso Chitai Niari Kekkon Washtei Nai.